Good morning, everyone. My name is Lisa. Today on Pressure Crisp, Aunt Ruthie requested a frittata. I did a lot of the prep yesterday and also this morning. Uh, we're going to make a roasted, roasted pepper, roasted asparagus, sausage frittata. Um, not much more to say, so come on over and let's get started. I just wanted to show you what we're using today. We're using the roasting pan. The splatter guard is in. I'm also going to, I didn't bring my roasting rack. I forgot it in New York. So we have to work with what we have. I do have a trivet, a yellow trivet. And I do have this lovely pan. I'm gonna go ahead and close the lid. And we're going to, let's air crisp. We're gonna turn it down to 375 and hit start. I'm just preheating that pan right now and the reason why I'm preheating that griddle pan is because I need to saute up a little onion. And while we're waiting for the griddle pan to heat up, I'm gonna go over the rest of the ingredients. Let me put some of this stuff off to the side. You're gonna need eight eggs, a quarter cup of heavy cream or half and half or milk, you're gonna need a half a pound of sausage. This is like a quarter cup of onion. This is a sweet onion, but you can use a yellow onion or a white onion, whatever you have on hand. I did roast up, this is like three quarters of a bunch of asparagus. This is roasted, already cooked. And I did roast up these peppers this morning. This is two peppers. We're only gonna use the one pepper. I will put a link in the description and also a link up on the left-hand side of the screen to do these in either the Ninja Foodi or the Ninja Foodi Grill. Very easy to do. You're gonna need salt, you're gonna need pepper, and I'm just using a pre-shredded uh, sharp cheese today. Just a little bit of granulated garlic. And I'm using, I had to pick up this pan, I didn't have anything out here. I don't even have a tape measure to measure this. But this will fit into the grill. It doesn't have straight sides, the sides are tapered, it's pretty deep. So I'm thinking that's probably like an eight or a prob uh, probably a nine inch pan this is. So let's head on over to the grill and start sauteing these onions. So to saute in the grill, what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna take some of this oil, a little bit of avocado oil. You can use olive oil, avocado oil, cause we're not doing high temps right now. Just gonna go ahead and put this right onto the griddle. Now some of these onions might fly off of here. I'm just gonna spray it just a bit. A little bit of black pepper, not much. Tiny bit of salt. Go ahead and lower the lid. I do want to show you that in order to, you have to raise the lid and then just take a spatula and just push the onions around. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower the lid. We still have about four minutes left in these onions. So while the onions are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the egg mixture. Just gonna take some of that heavy cream, like a quarter cup, pour it in. I am gonna add pepper, maybe like a quarter, Probably a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, fresh ground. Salt, maybe like a quarter teaspoon because we're putting cheese in this and we don't want it too salty. And you're just gonna take a whisk and you're just gonna whisk up these eggs. Whew, a lot of work, a lot of work. Don't need to go to a gym, just work in a kitchen. With... I also went ahead and cut up one roasted red pepper and the asparagus. This is a lot of, it's, it's a lot of veg, you have a protein, you got double protein from the eggs and the sausage, you got veg, it's just great. And you know something, I do wanna add just maybe a quarter teaspoon of garlic. Now once again, just whisk, whisk this up. All right, so that's all set. Now we do need to, I am gonna butter this dish. So I'm using a Ziploc baggie, I'm conserving my gloves. I'm gonna take some of that butter. I'm just gonna butter the dish. You can use whatever fat that you want. I'm just using often to use butter today. Just like that. Then to take this off, just like a glove. So we're gonna consider these onions done. We're gonna take half this sausage mixer, meat mixer. This is, I forgot to specify, this is a breakfast sausage with sage. All right, so that's about half right there. Looks good. 
I'm going to use one of my handy dandy, these things are the best by the way, awesome. Gonna take those onions and we're just gonna pour it right into the meat mixture. Cause the cold meat mixture is actually gonna help cool these onions down so we can get this frittata going. Now I'm just gonna take that, place the griddle pan right into the sink. I'm just gonna give this a quick stir. We're just mixing the onion up with the sausage. Next up, roasted red pepper and asparagus is going in. This is a lot of mixture, but look at this. Gorgeous, this is like super healthy. Well, maybe not with the sausage. And the cheese, by the way, but look at that, gorgeous. So I'm gonna go over to, actually, let's go back over to the grill. Now with this grill, I'm gonna leave that silicone trivet in because I forgot my roasting rack and I want this up off the bottom of the Ninja Fruity grill. Go ahead and lower the lid. Now we're gonna stop this. We're gonna choose bake. Whoops, hit the wrong button. We're gonna go up to 350, we're gonna hit start. And it's preheating right now. So we're gonna start layering the frittata mixture. I am gonna take some of this cheese, let's get the pan out of the way for a quick second. And you can either mix the cheese with this mixture or the egg mixture. I'm gonna take probably like a cup of this shredded cheese, I'm just gonna add it right to this mixture. Actually, whoa, that's a bit, bit too much. Let's take some of this stuff back because we're, there we go. So that's about a cup of sharp cheddar cheese. Once again, use whatever cheese that you like. And we're just gonna give this a quick mix. All right, look at that, that looks great. We're gonna take that pan, that gorgeous, beautiful pan. Gonna take that mixture, I'm just gonna pour it right in here. Wow. There we go, this is gonna be a great frittata. I hope I have enough eggs. I might wanna use, so I should've used maybe eight or 10. This is eight eggs, maybe I'm thinking I should've used 10 eggs. You heard the Ninja Foodie Grill, it is ready for our frittata. Let's see how we do with this, and if we need two more eggs, we will definitely add two more eggs. All you're gonna do is just pour this right over the top. Because there is a ton of filling in here. This is gonna be packed full. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Okay, this is ready to go in. Oh my God, this is gonna be so good. So good, look at that. We're gonna raise the lid. We're gonna take this beautiful frittata. I know it fit before, let's make sure it still fits. Ow, I just burnt my hand. So that's gonna happen. You might burn your hand, but that's fine. This is a big pan, so I'm assuming it's a nine inch pan. Go ahead and lower the lid. And we're on 350, the time. I'm thinking it's probably gonna take like 15, but I am gonna set it for 20 so we don't run out of time. I'm gonna check this in 10 minutes. I'll do the jiggle, the jiggle test on it. So about eight minutes has gone by. Let's check on this. This looks fabulous. Just wanna take a spatula. Nope, we're not done. So let's go ahead and lower the lid. All right, so it's been, we have like two minutes and 30 seconds left. I am gonna check on it. I think it's taken longer because <clears throat> this is a very thick insulated pan that I picked up. So I'm gonna let this go the full 20 minutes and then we're gonna take it out. It's been 20 minutes, the Ninja Foodie Grill has shut off. I do wanna do the jiggle, jiggle, jiggle test. Let's take this out. We're gonna let it set before we do the taste test. Well, Aunt Ruthie's gonna be doing the taste test. So just keep this in mind. Depending on the pan you're using, this one I picked up at, I think it was TJ Maxx here locally in Vegas. Uh, super inexpensive, but it is heavy and insulated. So it took longer than when I make it at home in a regular uh, cake pan. And also if you're using ceramic or the porcelain dishes, it, sometimes it takes about five minutes longer in those as well. Let's take this guy out if we can. Oh, I love these mitts. There we go, look at that, gorgeous. Okay, going out to the kitchen, gonna do that taste test. Can't wait. Let me bring both out. Here, I'm gonna give oh you a. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Gonna give you a close up right here. That's the piece. 
And then we're going to show you the close-up of the piece on the cutting board. Look at that. Oh. Sorry about the lighting in here. I didn't bring any lights with me to Vegas. Here you go. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Actually, before you, before you bite into it, let me, put, let me run this back to the kitchen. I'm coming. And that's I'm coming. Gas or anything. That's great. Yeah, it's a frittata. Yeah. Frittata. Alrighty. I might have to have one every day. Oh, geez. That means I've got to stay in <laughs> Vegas, everybody. <laughs> All right. Taste test. I, I hope she likes it. I just whipped this up this morning. Mmm. Is it good or you're lying? Mm, no, it's very good. Not bad for a first try. Is this your first try on this? Yeah, I probably shouldn't have told you guys that. I mean, actually, the first mm. time in the grill. I've made it in the foodie, but not the grill. It's the first mm. time in the grill. And it's so beautiful looking for a, a dinner, you know, or a brunch for somebody. It's perfect, yeah. It's oh got sausage, God. roasted peppers, roasted asparagus, cheese, see them. and a little bit of onion. You like, like I said earlier in the video, you can use onion powder if you don't feel like sauteing up the onions. A little cheat. So, Aunt Ruthie's going to have her breakfast. We are heading out to, where are we going again? Red Rock. We're going to Red Rock Canyon, but... Aunt Ruthie's going to experience her first Big Gulp at 7-Eleven. <laughs> She's never had one in her entire life. I'm going to get a Big Gulp. Don't worry, it'll, they'll, they'll be diet sodas. Mm. Um, but she's never had one. So see, the minute I get the Big Gulp on the way out, we're going to post that to Facebook just for fun. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Beautiful. Oh. Subscribe and, yeah. Thank you, everybody. Say bye. Bye, and serve it at your next brunch. <laughs>